स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस स्टेटिस्टिकल और प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिव यू एन आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट आर द इन जम्बल्स इन जम्बल्स यू कैन जनरली से दैट इज ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिस्टम्स सो इन दिस कॉन्सिक्वेंस वी आर लीडिंग टू द स्टेटिस्टिकल और प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन वट इज द रोल ऑफ दिस स्टेटिस्टिकल और प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन वी सेल सी लेटर ऑन बट फोकस ऑन दिस स्टैटिस्टिकल और प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन नाउ इन जम्बल्स वी आर डीलिंग विद लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिस्टम्स सिस्टम्स एंड इन दिस इन जम्बल्स द पॉइंट इन द फेज स्पेस आर वेरी डेंस वी कैन से दैट एंड सो वी कैन डिफाइन देयर डेंसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन बाय दिस क्वेंटी रो क्यू पी टी वॉट इज यर दिस इज अ पोजिशन दिस इज द मोमेंटम दिस इज द टाइम एंड वॉट इज डिस्क्राइब इट डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ मेंबर्स ऑफ द इंजम्बल्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर ऑल अलाउड माइक्रो स्टेट एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो दिस डेंसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन गिव्स एन आइडिया अबाउट ये हमें आइडिया देता है कि कैसे मेंबर्स ऑफ इंजम्बल्स वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हैं ओवर ऑल अलाउड माइक्रो स्टेट जो डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑफ द टाइम पर लाई करते नाउ वन मोर थिंग द नाउ वी कैन जस्ट हैव आइडिया द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट दैट विल लाइक दैट इज द मैक्रो स्टेट इन फेज स्पेस वॉल्यूम वॉट इज द वॉल्यूम डी थ्री एन क्यू एंड वन इज करेस्पॉन्डिंग टू द दिस पोजिशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज करेस्पॉन्डिंग टू द मोमेंटम सो इन दिस वॉल्यूम वी हैव दिस पॉइंट क्यू पी ऑफ द फेज स्पेस इट इज द ओवरऑल वॉल्यूम एलिमेंट कैन बी गिवन बाई दिस रो क्यू पी टी दिस इज डी थ्री एन क्यू टाइम्स ऑफ दिस इज डी थ्री एन पी हियर this is corresponding to the position this is momentum and what is represent this represent the number of points in the this volume d3n d3n q d3n p why it is 3n because 3n coordinates are associated for the which position and similarly for 3n coordinates are related with the momentum and phase space you know this is six dimensional and having 3n degrees of freedom now in this consequence How many number of systems in this ensemble will lie? This is given by this quantity m. M will corresponds to the. This can be find out by integrating this number of points with respect to d3 and q, d3 and we have to just integrate. Then we can just find this number of systems in this ensemble. So this is let this equation is one, and we are again discussing a function. This is called the. This is again density distribution thing function. Gives a definition of ensemble average. What is the ensemble average? You can just say that it is a physical quantity. What is it? It is a physical quantity again, the relative with the position and the momentum, which over different members of ensembles may be different. So we have this quantity which is called the average ensemble, and this average ensemble, this can be represented with as we just find the average. What we do? We just integrate this function f q p. This average number with respect to rho q p t d three n q d three n uh, here p with respect to this is here rho q p t d three n q d three n p here. So this is the corresponding equation to which is describing the ensemble average. Average we that's why we have uh, shown in this notation. It is the average number. Now you will just see that there are some integration. now these integrations what does it signify integration extends over whole of the phase space but contribution comes from this region along where this quantity is not equals to zero integration is all, almost it is lying over for the whole of the phase space but mainly contribution comes from this region this rho qpt this is not equals to zero now we know that since total number of systems in the ensemble do not change with time so what this derivative d rho qpt upon this dt it is equals to 0 this is suppose equation 3 now what this equation can also be written as this d rho upon dt this equals to partial derivative of this rho which is what it is density distribution function with respect to time plus this summation it, it is ranging from i equals to 1 to 3n and what is here partial derivative of this rho density distribution function partial derivative of this position coordinates and this is qi dot 
plus this del rho upon del pi pi dot. So, what if you just focus on this qi dot and this pi dot? These are related with the Hamiltonian. How this qi dot can be written as del h upon del pi. Similarly, this pi dot it is minus of del h upon del qi. So, we substitute this values of qi dot and this pi dot with the help of momentum with the help of Hamiltonian we can just write this del rho partial derivative of this density distribution function upon del t plus this rho h it is equals to 0. What is here? It is called the Poisson bracket. What is the role of the Poisson bracket? Now you know that if any physical quantity have if it, it is lying in the Poisson bracket any physical quantity with Hamiltonian what is here h? h is what? It is the Hamiltonian term. What is that? It is the Hamiltonian term. Now, any physical quantity with Hamiltonian inside this Poisson bracket is zero, then the quantity is also called constant of motion. As you have already studied in the classical mechanics, any quantity which is with relation with the Hamiltonian and it is inside the, uh, the Poisson bracket is going to be zero, then physical quantity, that quantity is the constant of motion. For equilibrium, what happened? Physical quantities must be independent of time. For equilibrium independent, so this density distribution function, it represents an equilibrium system, then this del rho upon del t is equals to zero. So, if we just proceed to this equation, we can have, if suppose this function, in this equation, it is, suppose del rho upon del t is equals to zero, because it is what? This physical quantity must be independent of time, means with this derivative is, 0, del rho upon del t is 0, what this implies that rho of this h with the help Hamiltonian is 0, that is this rho is a constant of motion. And one thing you have to just consider here, this Levelis theorem, this is what, D, dp upon dt is equals to del partial derivative of this density distribution function with respect to partial derivative of time plus this rho of h is equals to 0. In this this equation embodies the statement of Liouville's theorem. And what is the role of Liouville's theorem? We shall see later on how this can be helpful in distinguishing between the various kinds of the ensembles. So, in the next lecture, we shall discuss how the various ensembles can be discussed. Thank you for watching this lecture. Again, we will have on this basis of Liouville's theorem, we shall proceed and the type uh, other types of the ensembles